Alrighty. First bird game of the day. Don't see F5 as a response that often. Hopefully they don't copy all the moves. All right. I'll just castle quickly. Now I have to figure out what kind of plan we want to pursue. I kind of want this bishop to go to b7 because then I'm going to go like knight, knight g5. Can you? Yeah, let's try knight g5 and see if we can just go for an easy fork early on. That's a good move, but I had to test my opponent. Check. You can go, you can go d5. My idea behind d5 is then black is weakening their control over the e5 square. So I wasted a move, but I also weakened black's positions. Thought it was, ah. Thought it was uh, a good trade-off. Here, I see. You wanna go d4 and open up an attack here. All right, I'm gonna stop that. What's my bullet rating? My rating can be whatever you want, whatever you want. You want me to play like a 3000, I'll play like a 3000. You want me to play like a 300, I'll play like a 300. It's, it shifts. I just blundered? Nah. Nah, we'll make it work. I have to watch out for this. That's not it. That's not it. Black has the right idea, but the wrong execution. Because when they take this and then go d4, what they probably don't realize is my queen now defends g2. Or now they realize, but it's a little late. All right. Let's go knight b5. I want to go knight d4 and then fork on e6. It was the right idea, just wrong execution. And now, now we're good. Knight e6 check wins an exchange. And if you want to play that, by all means play it. It's a good move. But winning an, ex an exchange doesn't excite me anymore. I need to go for like discovered checks, checkmates, just stronger moves, or at least with a higher ceiling. They, they, they saw it, but I, we still have our check. We look for better. Okay, let me cash those chips in. I'm up a rook right now. So, gonna start initiating some trades. Which means I don't mind taking here, I believe. Sure, let's take. And now I have a fun move. I'm gonna go check. And if bishop here. Okay. I was gonna just give my queen up and trade everything off. There's a lot of tempting moves here. Knight f7 is probably the simplest, so I'll play it. Knight f7 check. And then bring the rook in. This is not checkmate, the knight covers. Let's bring the rook in. Good game. Good game. Diplio, thanks for the 11 months. Alrighty. Here we go. E6 and E6, hey? 
That's not too confrontational. I think I'm going to grab the center. Aha. Putting some pressure on, huh? I'm going to make a funny looking move. I'm going to go bishop d3. I'm defending the pawn still. Queen e2. Making sure I'm accounting for bishop takes knight. And now, now it's time for the fun stuff. This is something that also might uh, be available a little more in the bird than other openings. You can guess what I'm setting up here as white. I got something coming though, that's for sure. First, black has to deal with this knight that's hanging. And check. If you thought I was playing that, you are correct. Check. So I'm winning at least a pawn and weakening black's king, but I'm I'm looking for more. I'm definitely looking for more. I mean, it's tempting for me to throw this move in just to see if they forget that this is checkmate, but there, there's too much risk. I'll take, I'll just take my knight, take the material back. That's a good move. I can get knight g5 in next move though, I uh, once again am threatening checkmate. I can get knight g5, I'm threatening checkmate on h7, right? And I don't really have this bishop, even if I develop, it doesn't really have anywhere too ambitious to go. So I think my most effective attacking piece is this knight. I'm playing black, I probably have to go g6, just so the queen starts covering. But we're up a pawn. Could be worse. Good move, good move. Let me go a3, see what you decide to do here. So if you take here, I'll take with the pawn so my bishop develops. I'm gonna go bishop b3, queen side castle. Don't want to castle king side because I want to attack on the king side. Well, I think I'm just going to queenside castle now. I'd love to sack the rook and go for checkmate, but the queen's still covering mate, so I have to... I'm going to play something else. I'm going to go rook d6. Just grab, grab the square. Okay, buddy. Couple questions. First, if I go c4, where is your knight headed? Because if you have to go all the way back, that's not a good sign. Then I can even take this pawn. But I'm thinking about going queen h6 next move. Queen h6 because, oh, well that is defended by my bishop. Right? Yep. There we go. That's a kamikaze move. I think I can take it. Am I missing something? Don't think so. Let's grab that. And now uh, let's attack the base of black's position. The pawn on d7. There we go. There we go. Check. Alrighty. White to move. You could take here. 
but let's make it smoother. The queen can now take the rook because black's king is in the way of the rooks protecting each other. So good job. Yay. Checkmate. Kaiser Yashin. That's a familiar name. Good luck. All right, we got our bird. Let's go d3 and try to just immediately grab some space. This should be two. Go for a quick castle, however sturdy center. And now we transfer the queen over to the king side. There's some attacking chances you're gonna like. I'm gonna go c3 just to take away a couple squares. Now we have queen h4. h5 you know takes away some squares but it also weakens g5 so i'm gonna play knight g5 now and you know what what if i just start attacking this pawn is pinned it's checkmate otherwise you could take but i'm gonna use this quick quick development and just attack on the king side Okay. It looks like maybe I'm playing aggressively in front of my king, but none of black's pieces are are close to my king. So I don't consider it as risky. And now we just have a winning position. How do you stop checkmate? Just quick quick queen push to the king side and uh, profit. The only move I see is rook here. It does prevent immediate checkmate, but I have another move if you play there. So after check, the king goes here and I don't see a follow-up, but this pawn is loose. So I think my plan is going to be a little different. The hard part's not seeing that this is a hanging pawn and check. But the real question is, what's my next move going to be? After king h8, we need to throw more uh, throw more ammo in. Because I don't know if the queen and knight can checkmate the king on their own. So how do we uh, improve our attacking potential? Well done, Tim Cannon. Rook f3. I like that suggestion. Just want to use that open h file and swing the rook over. Knight here, looking looking to get over there. I got it. Gonna give the check anyways. Big block. Now what? Let's finish the masterpiece. Tim. Tim says checkmate in two. That's correct. Remove the defender so that we can access another checkmate. Rook takes h6. The bishop has to recapture. And then when the bishop moves, it makes the h7 square available. So we get rid of the knight and now just slide over. Is that checkmate on h7? Is there anything to stop it? Doesn't look like it. Looks good to me. Nice. That was, that was a good bird. That was like very efficient. We didn't even have to use half our pieces. Very thematic. Alrighty. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. I'll, I'll grab the center here. And then I'll go D4. Three pawn attack. I might be going D5 next move and uh, cramping Black's position. Let me grab. 
Okay, we've traded in the middle, but I think I have a bit more space. I can block with the queen, or I can play g3, and I'm just gonna go g3. Stabilizing. It's developed that knight. Do we castle queenside or kingside? That's a good question. Maybe, maybe queenside this time, now that our queen's developed early. And then queenside castle, yes. I'd like to go e5 and do something on the d file, but I don't quite see the line yet. So I'm going to go h3 first, prepare g4. Let's move the queen out of the way. Wait a second. So black wants to go bishop c6. So I can go g4, bishop c6, g5. But what if I go e5? And then if they take and I take, they have a hanging knight on f6 and potentially a hanging bishop on d7 because the knight's the defender of that bishop, the second defender. Yeah, works out. That's how we use the d file. Queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, I'm up a piece. Checks out. And we have more material as well. This bishop doesn't have any squares. You go here, I can just snap this off. Everything falls, eh? All falls down at once. I think I'm just going to take the free bishop, sir. Thank you. Now the knight can't move. I'll take this pawn as well. Cheers. I think I'll take this pawn and develop at the same time. Thank you. Good game. Andre Maya. Alrighty, let's go F4. Yeah, f5 is not the most common response, but it's already occurred a couple of times. I'll stick with knight f3. And now I'll go for the fianchetto again. You're copying me. Okay. I'll deviate. Bit of a stonewall setup. I'm gonna go bishop b5. This is a good bishop. Now we get to castle. I don't mind losing this bishop. This is my really good bishop. Because where if I if I want to keep the bishop, I can go bishop d3, blocks my pawn, not a big fan. Bishop b2, not the end of the world. I just don't value it that much. So I'll I'll trade and then put an knight on e5. They're defending this, which is a good idea. Let me go d3, take away this option for black. And now I need to remember to develop this knight. I was gonna say, I'm gonna recycle it, but this helps. Because I have two attackers, there's only one defender for black, so. That's a pawn up. Yep, let's develop this knight. Well, that helps. That helps. What can I say? Did not expect to see that move. This bishop 
Been ready. Uh, we're gonna take that rook. Thank you, sir. And now I'm just going to move my bishop back. Place it on a nice outpost. Bring the knight in. Maybe even a queen trade now that we're up a rook. Yeah, let me offer a queen trade. Because I'm a nice guy. Uh, I'll take with a pawn. This way I can use the open F file. See the difference? I could have taken with a knight, but oh, I like the F file. And the knight on E5 is an outpost. Can't imagine black's going to survive much longer. This bishop is stuck behind its own pawn. And the rook doesn't have any files to use, so... It's, uh, it's going to be hard for black to come up with any counterplay. Quality of the pieces is just not high. But we're going to move our rook. Let's move it all the way down the board. This way... Our rook on a1 can join. I'm just going to play out of habits. Trade when I'm up a rook. And now we're going to go probably rook f8. Resignation. GG. This is 4100. Good luck, Ryan P. When I see the knight on c6, I sometimes play e3 because I, I am looking at this pin. It's not the end of the world. But one benefit of the bird is sometimes you can castle like really fast. And let's see how black deals with this. They have the bishop pair, but they're going to be a bit behind in development. I'm gonna grab the space while I while I can. Yeah, I'll even go c4. That way I can go knight c3. B4, a4, attack. It looks a little cramped here. A lot of pieces, not a lot of space. Okay, first. I can't go d4 because this hangs, eh? We'll have other moves. I'm gonna play one move I like to play and in the birds opening, it's fairly standard. It's king h1, just to always make sure we're off the diagonal. It's a prophylactic move, but it's useful. Knight e5, queen e8 is tempting to look at. e5 right away is tempting why not 95 i mean it's attacking all of black's pieces right away they could go queen d6 and blunder everything or they could go queen e8 that also not the move I was concerned about because now if I take on c6 I mess up their pawns. And that just can't be a bad thing. The pawns in front of the king. Maybe queen a4. e5 could also be played first though, hey? Just to uh, dislodge this knight. Okay, but first I'm going to take, because I want to open up as many files as I can, near Black's King. So this way, when I put a Rook on C1, I have some potential. Now I'm thinking Knight A4, move this Bishop, Rook C1. Yep, Knight A4. Move this bishop, then rook c1. I could develop my queen, but I want to make sure I develop my other pieces too. Yep. 
let's let's prepare this uh, rook c1 move that's a move i have to move my bishop let's move over here you're attacking that i can't go queen f3 because this hangs so i'm gonna go queen c2 defending d3 also defending a4 still preparing rook c1 there we go that's what i wanted to see because takes 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 the c file is useful and my next move is probably going to be rook c1 or queen takes a6 check I'm not distracted by this knight because I can threaten maiden one. And ignore it. I, and now, this is a very important tempo that I just gained. Because after knight b6, queen b6, queen b6, it's actually pinned. So either they lose their queen or it's checkmate. Just by throw, inserting rook c1. All right. Well, I see a checkmate and I'm gonna play a checkmate. Queen a8, looks like mate. Just double checking, looks good. There we go. GG, that's 1100. Now we're in the 1100s. Let's see if the resistance goes up. I'll go for the Fiancado. There we go. They're... They're playing a solid setup. Okay, let's go E3. I just don't know where to put this bishop. Not going to go here, not going to go here. Don't want to block the pawn, so I'm also going to land on the e2 square there's a knight on c6 maybe i could harass it aha uh -huh. maybe they want to trade i might have to let them is that the idea yeah i got a question where's this knight going why can't i attack it i can that's good i'm thinking about playing d4 but what i don't like about d4 is one it blocks my bishop two the e3 pawn is weak and they can when they go knight g4 the weak pawn is the main issue but let me try knight e5 that way i can maybe open up the f file and open up this bishop i'm going to take with the pawn and then d3 okay let's transfer the queen over to the king side we've done that before And if I want this to happen, I want to see this uh, exchange. In fact, if I can get rid of this knight, I have some checkmate ideas. The problem if I take, they take with the bishop, they're hitting my queen. But if I play h4 first, then they move their knight, and then I take, they don't have time to take back with their bishop. Well, what's that move? Isn't that a free knight? Am I missing something? Yeah, you can move. I'll just move my king out of the way. Okay. This is a... Th is it a threat? No, because I'm threatening my own stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is the bishop. There we go. I think we landed on a square. Checkmate. Good stuff. 
Morty. Luck. Haven't seen this setup before. Not too impressed because it just blocks your knight. I'll go for the traditional setup. Gen Kettling. And then D3. Try to play for E4. Yeah, we'll go for E. We'll play E4. This is a good move because I was thinking about pinning, but it's been prevented skillfully. So I have this like setup with my pawns on e4 and f4, but I don't really know how to push the pawns. Gotta think about it. I'm gonna make a, a waiting move. I don't mind king h1. I want to consider b4. Okay, here, let's take with a knight. Hitting this bishop. And if they take, I take with a queen. Okay. But now I get to play b4. That was why I wanted to play a3. Maybe open up the file. Let's go. Queen takes. Now I got some ideas on the long diagonal. Yeah, what if I go b5 now and try to open things up for my queen and bishop? Form a battery. Attack this. You can move there. But if I just move my queen out of the way and attack your knight, I don't think good things are going to happen. Yasser says, how long is it, Eric? The diagonal, I mean. Uh, the diagonal, uh, it's going to reach pretty far, Yasser, from G2 all the way to A8. All the way to A8. Thanks for asking. Let's take. Take. And then 95. I'm going to, I'm going to expand the diagonal. I'm going to expand the diagonal. Like that. And now Rook here, threatening checkmate. <sighs> Excellent. Is that checkmate? Knight defends, king can't move. Oh, they resign. Checkmate anyways. Oh, there, that's what I'm playing as black. C6 against everything. Wolfie and Keto are dark squared bishop. And now, let's go e3. Bishop e2. And a quick castle. Perfect. Let's count. We have one attacker, two attackers, three attackers. They have one defender, two defenders, three attackers, two defenders. Go math. That's uh, going to be a free piece for me. And I got the F file to boot. Oh, wow. Instead of taking this knight, I think I'm going to be more attracted to taking this pawn. And grabbing a rook or a queen. scary looking move but i don't see they're missing their dark squared bishop they're missing some some pieces that they generously provided
Yeah. My next move might be just offering a queen trade. Want to trade queens? Let's find out. First, I'll kick away that knight. It doesn't have permission to be on my property. Okay, okay. That's a cute move. I'll take the knight though. I'll take my chances. You didn't take the spawn. If you're not going to take it, I'm going to defend it. Uh, I could go bishop d4 and defend it. I could go queen d3. I could go rook f3. I could go rook f4. Actually, rook f4 looks good. My favorite is queen d4. Because outside of defending, I'm threatening to trade queens. If I trade the queens, I know I'm not going to get checkmated. I can trade the queens off. I don't have to worry about any sort of bishop h3 shenanigans. Just trade the queens. Queen e5, check. And then, uh, then black's counterplay should disappear. There we go. We have an open F file. That's a pretty common feature of the bird. And people forget about it. Gonna just take that bishop. Thank you, sir. GG. Mad King BC. Good luck. I'm gonna grab the center in this one since. And now we're actually transposing to a uh, kind of a Sicilian. You're eyeballing my pawn. I'll defend. No freebies for you. Let's just castle. Quick development. Gave it with a bishop, but we have quick development. That's got to be worth something. Now queen one Going to transfer that queen over to the king side in a moment. Sure, why not now? I want to see Queenside Castle. Because where is this knight going to go? If given the chance. If given the chance, where do we put our knight? Especially with the queen on c6. I see somewhere. Okay, you're not letting me. Let's move the queen out of the way. Fair. Now we don't have this fun move, unfortunately. It's okay. There's other ways to attack. Let's try this. I'm castled, black's not. Now's a good time to put pressure. And they're closing the position down. Boo. Can I attack this knight? I can. Let me try this. I'm giving away my bishop for the knight and then playing knight d5. That's a strong knight. I can make it even stronger by playing pawn to c4. Yeah. Take that. They want to they probably trade. I don't mind that. I don't think I mind a trade. I'm going to let them trade. Take, oh. This helps me because it opens up the b file. That's why I'm taking the b pawn. So which piece do I, which pawn do I recapture with? Towards the center or away from the center? If I take this way, the e4 square is available. If I take this way, the c4 square is available. I'm gonna take it towards the center and my knight is gonna go on a journey to c4. But both of them are probably playable, but the journey, we're on a boat to c4 here. Yes, C4 looks like a healthy, healthy outpost. It's, and then we're going to gang up on the file. My queen's not doing much over here, so. Besides putting my rooks on the. Uh, 
I wanted this to be a real struggle. I don't want free rooks. Okay. I'm just putting my rooks on the only square possible. Okay. No pawns for you. I'm gonna move the rook all the way back. Notice the queen doesn't have any squares. The knight and rook have put the queen in jail. And once the queen is in jail, we can have fun. Now my queen is gonna have to join the game. Uh, let's move the queen here. Maybe I'm gonna push this pawn and go for checkmate. I like that. Push, push, push. And checkmate while the queen is offside yep push push now this rook is going right here we're pinning that maybe knight d6 is on the cards i'm not i'm not pinning this because of the queen i'm pinning it because i want checkmate So I'm still going to take it. That's my idea. I want checkmate. On G7. Sir. Yep. It's going to be hard. Going to be taking the rook or taking the king. We'll find out. Mad King has disconnected. The Penny Packer from Sweden. Here we go. That's a quick G6. I'm going to grab the center then if you're going to give me the space. You want this pawn? You really want this pawn? Take it. Take it. I'm going to play D4, hit the queen. They always fall for it. That's the third time in this speedrun that people invest all this time to take the pawn. And then the very next move, they just forget about it. Works. It's worked every single time so far. That's a you problem. That's not a me problem if you can't see that. If you're going to be greedy, you better be ready to face an attack. Okay, you're attacking my bishop, so I'm going to move my bishop. You're throwing a free pawn, I'm going to take a free pawn. Sure. You're going to attack my knight, and I'm going to move my knight. Check. Thank you for the rook. Wow. You're playing real fast here. I'm intimidated. Not really. I see two pieces here. I see a pawn that can go to d5. Check. And now, let's just queenside castle to bring more pieces in, hey? My queen's being attacked. Unfortunately, I don't have checkmate. I'm close. I don't see it. But I have this pawn. I could have taken the knight. That would have been nicer. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right, yeah, sir. Should have taken the knight. Oh, no. How do I redeem myself? This would have been a good checkmate combination with bishop check. I have to make it up. I have to make it up to people. For sure. Let's offer a free night to my opponent. Gesture of goodwill. Hee <laughs> hee.
JM Smucker, good luck. So we got F4 and Net F3, our usual setup. And I'm going to try my E3 and Fianchetto this way, like that. And then put this bishop on b5, pin. And now we got a quick castle in. Yep. What do we do to the queen? Transfer it over to the king's side. You see what my queen and bishop are doing? See? That's how you do it. That's the second time today people have allowed this. And it works. You just put your pieces on good squares. And now my queen and bishop are coordinated on g7, the long diagonal. Checkmate. There we go. Well, you're one step closer to mastering the bird's opening. To move on to the next episode, just click over here. And to stay up to date with all of our content, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also click the bell button, then you're going to get notified. See you next time.